channel so I feel like I have not done a hair video in forever so today I have a new one and I'm going to be installing a U-part wig which I'm so excited about I only had this is my second U-part wig that I've had without me creating one so I'm super excited to try it so this wig is from Y wigs and y'all I just think that this U part is so beautiful. So this is it right here. It is 20 inches and it's in deep wavy. Um, I did not wash it yet. Uh, I just wanted to show y'all what it looked like straight out of the package. And this is what you get. Um, it has combs in it. There's three combs in the front. And then there are two combs on the side and one in the back with adjustable straps. So I already prepped my hair and I put it in the best way I could, okay? I could not braid backwards to save my life, you guys. So I just attempted to like lay my hair down basically, which y'all will see in a second. So I'm doing a side part. Um, I was gonna do a middle part at first, but I really like side parts and I wanted to try it with this U part wig. So I do have a side part and I did leave some of my edges left out, which y'all will see in a second. So stay tuned. Right, you guys, so this is gonna be my braid pattern for today. Um, this is like an anchor braid. Y'all, I can, like I said, I cannot braid backwards to save my life. So I tried, so here's a braid right here that I'll put the combs in. This is leave out. This part is going to be leave out, and I did like another anchor braid and leave out right here. Okay. All right, so here we go. I know it look crazy, but we're about to put it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm looking in my mirror down here. Snap it in there. And in the back. over here all right so I have it snapped in and everything I'm gonna go ahead and put the combs in on the side for extra security security where's the other combo oh, there it is just gonna put those combs in and voila all right so we have it installed so far um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, because of time, I would perm ride these, but since I have to go somewhere, I'm going to have to put heat on my hair, which I really didn't want to do, but for the sake of time, I'm going to put heat on my hair for this style. Okay, so once it's in, it should look like this. It just snaps in right there, and then on the other side, and then you have your leave out right here. All right, so I got a new hair straightener, and this is it right here. It was on Amazon, it's called the Timo. Yeah, Timo. And I'm gonna straighten my hair with it, and then I'm going to blend it using my curling wand so I can blend the curls with this hair right here. So yeah, I'm super excited to try that. Let me get my comb. So I'm gonna start with this part right here. So this is my hair. This is my hair right here. And I'm just going to take a piece from the back. So you wanna make sure that you cover your weft in the back. So I'm just gonna comb that out. Y'all, my hair's growing. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and, oh God, it's a cord. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna take this and straighten it. And I don't have it on like the highest setting because I do not want heat damage on my hair. But it gets it pretty, pretty straight. And close to the root. All right, so that piece is going to be for the back. And then I'm going to take my comb and comb this out real quick. And I'm going to make a part. So, go 
right here. I make a little side part. Y'all, I'm horrible at making these parts. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, we have our side part here. I'm going to take this comb and I'm going to clip it to the side. And I'm going to use my comb again to straighten this out. Because this is just from the hair being blow dry. So. Y'all, this thing works so well. And I don't have it on the highest setting at all. I have it on 350. Because I know my hair. And my hair gets heat damage like crazy. Okay. So it gets the roots. As you can see. There's the straightened piece. And then I'm going to do the other side. Now this part might be a little more struggle-ish because I left a tiny bit out. And it's really close to the front of my hair. Oh, it worked. Great. Y'all, you can get really close with this. Okay. And then this top piece up here. I have not put heat on my hair in most, y'all. So, normally I would just use perm rods, but it's the middle of the day and I have somewhere to go and I wanted to do this video. All right. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. Um, I'm about to go ahead and blend it. And we are also going to comb this out because I'm gonna be wand curling this hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and comb everything. It is so loud outside. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and comb everything in. If you had a straight wig, I feel like your hair would blend perfectly with this. But since this wig is deep wave, you have to do some modifications, which is okay. So this is what it looks like with me just straightening my hair and this hair is in its natural state. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this wand right here. And I went to wand curl it. If y'all watched me from back in the day, y'all know I used to love, I used to love wand curling my hair. I would literally do it like almost every day. Yeah, it's a lot of time. But I'm gonna go ahead and wand curl it and we'll see what it looks like afterwards. And y'all, I love this wand. It's from New Me. It's the reverse curling wand. So at the top, it is bigger. And then it gets smaller at the bottom. Um, I have not picked the curls out yet. I'm going to do that in a second. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys that I use this heat protectant on my hair. It's the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Resor Restore Anti-Breakage Spray. Um because I do not like putting heat on my hair. My hair gets heat damaged so fast, but I think these curls look so beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick them apart. I'm going to lay my baby hair's edges down with the Kiss Edge Fixer Glued Max Hold in the scent Sweet Peach. It smells so good. I had this one and the pineapple one. I love it. Um, and I love it because it does not have alcohol in it. So I stopped using products that had the bad alcohol in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but y'all, let me get close real quick before I take these curls out. So these are what the wand curls look like. And this hair is very, very bouncy. It's very full, I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. Also, just look at the sheen. I did not put anything on these curls. like. Look how beautiful these curls are. Oh my gosh. 
They're so beautiful and soft and bouncy and fluffy. y'all i absolutely love this u part like it looks bomb as i don't know what um let me show you guys what it came in and all that good stuff it was so easy to style the hair is super super soft and bouncy as y'all saw in that clip before uh, i just went ahead and added some long curls because i love long curls and i have had my hair in braids like basically the whole summer um, since May my hair been in braids or some kind of protective style so this is the first time I'm actually like able to do my hair and I absolutely love it so I showed y'all with the box um, the box that the hair came in and it also came in this little duffel bag which I love because these bags just help save space and when I'm not wearing the unit, I can just put it in the bag and I know where it's from and which wig it is. Um, and it also came in this bag right here. So it says it's a human hair free part wig, 20 inches, natural color, and is in deep wave. I love getting deep wave hair because it gives the hair more body and bounce. As y'all can see, look at that. It's so beautiful. Um, so I didn't comb like all of the curls out just because I want it to last and I don't feel like wanding it all over again. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. But y'all, this is like one of the best U parts I ever had in my life. And it also came with an elastic band. So I actually never seen this kind before. Usually I see the kind with the clips on the side. But this one, I like it because all you have to do is just sew it on to each side. And then this part, it will come apart and back together. So I'll probably install this in. But y'all, I love this hair. I'm going to turn around so you can see it from the back. Alright, so this U part is definitely giving me like glam vibes. I think it's so cute. And with the added wand curls, I love it. Um, and like I showed you guys before, it was like a middle part technically. But all I did was move it to the side and I was kind of hesitant at first because I didn't want one side being like longer than the other. But it actually came out to looking very, very similar in length which is really really good because sometimes I had wigs that I try to move it to the side and like this side will be short and this side will be long oh yeah and before I get off let me get closer so I can show you guys the lead out okay so this is the front of my hair so like I said I just use my hair straightener to straighten my natural hair out and then I used my curling wand to blend it in. And then I just laid my baby hairs in. But y'all, just look at that. That's my natural part. This hair blends in so nicely. I absolutely love it. It's, it's just giving me, like, glam. I love it. And I'm pretty sure I could have gotten my natural hair straighter. But I just do not like putting that much heat on my hair. So I feel like... This would do, you know, I live in Atlanta, so hopefully when I step outside, it doesn't turn into like a whole afro. I'm praying because like this part of my hair never really sees heat or like, you know, blended styles. So we're going to see how it goes. But I'll leave all the specs and all the details below in the info box. And let me know what you guys think about it. I love it so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye, you guys.